My name is Brunt. You mess with me, you mess with the big guy. Hey, Rodimus Bill here again today, and we're going to do Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Deluxe Weaponizer Brunt. Now this is a transformer that transforms into a tank, and since he's a weaponizer, you could take him apart and accessorize other characters. First we'll take a look at the box. There is Transformers logo, the generations, there is some cool artwork, and it says Deluxe Class, and there is Brunt, let's see, Brunt WFC-S37. 23 steps from robot to tank. It says weaponized figure becomes weapons. And there is break apart weapons and he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different weapons. Here you have him on a refractor, which is also part of wave three. And that is it. All right, there's the logo on the side, there's the top. Let's get Brunt out of the package and see what we've got. And now that Brunt's out of the package, first we're gonna take a look at his weapon. Now, since he is a weapon, <clears throat> he only comes as one little weapon. It is molded in gray. It has some silver on the top and a bronze colored barrel. And you can take off the barrel. And it looks like they are five millimeter slots and they just go together like that. And that is the weapon. Now, Brunt himself is a purple deluxe figure who looks like a tank. Now, I will say this his face does remind me of the Battlestar Galactica Cylons. Now, that is my second Battlestar reference to the Siege line because Starscream in his Tetrajet does look like a Colonial Viper. But, <clears throat> back to Brunt. He is molded in purple, gray, and has some splashes of yellow paint and silver paint. And that's all he is. Now, Brunt is Trypticon's, uh, one of Trypticon's minions. I guess you call him, and we're going to compare him to Trypticon in later on in this video. But now let's look at Brunt. Okay, he's got a Decepticon symbol there. He's got gray underneath there. He's got tank arms and a claw. He doesn't have a hand. He has a claw that can move in and out. <clears throat> Going up the body, he's got a gray torso. He's got the purple crotch piece. There's more uh, tank treads right there. There's more of the feet. You can start seeing all the 5mm holes right there, there, here. Uh, on the back, he's got a little backpack that comes apart later, becomes a tank tort. Again, two more holes right there. 5mm peg right there. And that is it for Brunt. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, you can't put his thing on his arm. The directions say you can just put it in this hole, and basically, that's Brunt. Now, for articulation, his head will do a 360 degrees, but it's got no up or down movement. The arm will do a 360 degrees. He does have an upper bicep swivel, not quite 90 degrees on the elbow. And the claw goes in and out that much. Full 360 at the waist. Other arm is the same. Leg goes up more than 90. Again, more than 90. And he's got 90 degrees at the knee. And uh, the feet will swivel out like that. So that is Grunt, pretty poseable. And now for some robot to robot comparisons. This is our weaponizer. We got Deluxe Brunt. And then we're gonna bring in his Autobot brothers, Weaponizer Cog, Weaponizer Six Gun. <clears throat> Six Gun is with Metroplex and Cog is Fortress Maximus. Fellow Decepticon tank, Skytread. Uh, fellow Decepticon Voyager, Starscream. And then we'll bring in Leader Class, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. <clears throat> Big difference between Leader Class and Deluxe. And let's see, we'll bring in Deluxe Autobot Hound. We will bring in 
Deluxe Ironhide. Here is a Voyager Springer. And last, we'll bring in Trypticon's other um, Decepticon City Part Full Tilt. Now these are both can be played with the Trypticon Returns or Titan Return Trypticon, which we will bring him in. We'll have to get a big shot. There is Trypticon with his two. Here is, maybe we'll just get a good close up like that. And there is Trypticon with his two uh, Decepticon henchmen. And that is all for robot mode. And now to transform Brunt into the tank, you want to remove the gun. <clears throat> okay, you want to lift up his arms, close the claw in, rotate, push the arm in until it snaps. Again, lift it up, close the claw in, push that in until it snaps. <clears throat> Come around the back, we'll take the backpack off. And then while we're here, we're going to bend these knees. <clears throat> okay, so now, notice it's got the big notch going up. That's his crotch piece. You got the 5 millimeter pegs there. You want to plug those in there. And rotate the body around. <clears throat> the head will pop down. And then this whole piece rotates down. And then what you want to do is pull the arms off and pull the legs off. And once you pull the legs off, you want to put these tabs back in. <clears throat> now what the arms is going to be, you have this top peg here. So what you want to do is, I think you rotate. You just want to rotate the arm. So you got the top peg there, and you got this peg here, and this will slide in and fill in that space. And we'll do the same with the other one. Let's see. Fold up. Top peg. There. <clears throat> and now you have the tank starting to take shape. Okay, now your turret. You have a little notch carved in there. So what you want to do. <clears throat> now these are the same except for the bottom. This has a little piece you fold out like that. So you want to do the piece that doesn't fold out. And you got these two little circles here and you got the peg there. The peg's going to fit right in that hole. So you just plop these in. It's a friction hinge like that. And you have a hole in a, a square, well, rectangle and a circle. Rectangle and circle here. You plug this in. And then you take the gun apart. The little bronze section goes in here. And this will go right here. And there is Brunt in his tank mode. <clears throat> and it's a neat little tank mode too. Let's see, you got this going up. And it goes 360 degrees. It rotates around. It goes up and down. Uh, you got little wheels here, so you got the fake tank treads there, fake tank treads there, back, really doesn't look like no robot, side, you have the little yellow there, now do you have a Decepticon symbol anywhere? Oh. At the very front is the Decepticon symbol, oh, and this peg, sorry I forgot to cover it up, and that is Brunt as a tank. And it rolls pretty good. Now we'll look at the some vehicle comparisons next. And now our Brunt vehicle comparisons. First we're going to bring his Trypticon mate full tilt. That is how those two guys compare. We're going to bring in fellow tank Skytread, or at least half of them. And we're going to bring in Voyager size Starscream. Now it's a Deluxe and Voyager. And Brunt is going to combine with him later. And then let's bring in some Autobots. We've got Autobot 
Ironhide. We've got Hound. <clears throat> We've got fellow Weaponizer Cog. We've got Voyager Springer, also Wave 3. And we'll compare him with Leader Class Galaxy Upgrade Optimus. And our last Weaponizer 6-Gun. So here is our three Weaponizers so far in vehicle mode. And there they are. And that is all for vehicle mode. Oh, and I forgot one more comparison. Here is Trypticon and his two henchmen. All in how they compare in vehicle mode compared to Trypticon. And that is it for vehicles. And now, first we're going to look at the directions. Okay, that's just regular tank directions. <clears throat> and here on the back, it actually tells you to take them apart in, into six different sections. And so the tank, you take the arms off and make these two, which is the B. Uh, C is the backpack. D is the main body, looks like with the barrel. E is just the hip with the legs, and the A is the uh, two legs put together. So we're going to do that real quick. <clears throat> and let's see. Pull these apart. We're just going to take them apart in robot mode. <clears throat> okay, so the arms. It says push these out. And... Yeah, that's right. Let's see, these go in and out. So you want that to be here. Let's see, so... Okay, there are the arms. Uh, let's see, the main barrel is this thing where you just put... Let's see, you put the body goes like that and you do that and that is the new thing and the legs you don't really do much you flip this up and that is the legs <clears throat> and this piece goes separately and let's make this into the you gotta flip this out and this, let's see, oh, here we go. <clears throat> you got a tab hole, tab hole, and that combines. Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, so this is called the TTC-AP Oblivio Launcher. This is a weapon called the Vortex Cannon, TTC-AD. Uh... TTCCR is the Agonizer Blaster. That's not right. This looks like it's the same item. Turret Armor is this. Microelectric Amplifier. Oh, Microelectric Amplifier is just the bronze piece. This is the Agonizer Blaster, and this is the Vortex Cannon. Okay. <clears throat> And there is two different modes. First, we're going to do demolition mode. I don't have refractor, so we're going to use iron hide since he has the hole in the back. Okay, so you put the feet on. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Did I get that upside down? These directions are very, very hard. All right, actually, there. There's one foot, and we'll take the other foot. 
five millimeter slot. <clears throat> there we go. So that's the feet. And they don't sit very good. Ah, you gotta turn these over. So that is the feet. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna do this piece. And it says here, put the peg in the arm, which luckily Ironhide has that arm. And that is the arm. All right, it has on refractor again, but I don't have refractor. And then, what is this? Is this the main barrel? It looks like this piece you put on the hole in the back, like so. So I was going to use Starscream, but he doesn't have a hole in the back. And then the cannon somehow fits. Are these those little holes in the back? Hmm. Whoops. And this you just put on. Uh, let's see. There is a hole. Let's see, it goes like that. Ah, and that five millimeter peg hole. And I guess this. And you got a hole right there and you can do either side. And then this we put on his arm. And now we have Demolition Loadout. And that is what it looks like. And here is Ironhide. So you've got the arm here. you got the cannon here. you got the shield. And you got the extra feet. And this is what it looks like from behind. And that is called Demolition Loadout. Now, the other thing is called the Serpentine Loadout. So let's get that together. And for the Serpentine Loadout, basically you want to put the two halves of the body back together again. And we want to keep it like that. And then what you want to do is take the legs. Legs go on top. Uh, five millimeter peg. 5 millimeter peg, legs go on top. These arms, uh, let's see, plug into like that. And the arms, plug in like that. And let's see, open up the claws, open up the claws. And then you put this whole thing on the back of Ironhide. And then one arm gets the shield and one arm gets the two-piece gun and what you have is this big monstrosity and this is the serpentine loadout and there is refractor with the big so now you have a hydraulic mauler claw which is right here and then you have a proximity boost module which is this area back here. I do like how they give you options. So you can either do it yourself or they give you two options. So that is the two modes, the demolition loadout and the serpentine loadout. And that is, and he's a pretty cool figure. I kind of like that. You got big, oh, I don't know how you'd use the claws unless you get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. And uh, it's pretty much weighted because you got a lot of weight in the front and the back, but then these hang over. So he stands pretty good. And that is the two modes of Brunt. And just to show you that you can do your own weaponization, here is Starscream. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece in the back here, like so. We'll put the gun in his hand. We will give Starscream claws. Let's see, we'll 
put this in here. Let's see. Other claw. Open up the claw. And we'll put that here. Okay, now Starscream's feet are very, very bad. These are supposed to be five millimeter holes, but they're very bad. You can't really do it. And what's weird about this one is two different legs. I can see this being a gun with a peg, but there's no peg on this one. So this we will put like this and put these together. Kind of like that. This we can make a gun and we could put this in his hand. Come on, Star Scream, I know you're a five millimeter peg. There. Uh, let's see. A shield. We can have him hold the shield. There, the shield and the claw. So Star Scream's got some big old claws. And this oddball piece, eh, we won't use it. So there is Starscream. Again, you have the big gun up here. You got these two guns. Oh, and there's also... See, this is an oddball because all the other weaponizers come with more guns. So you can put that there. I just wish this had another peg because you could have put the peg there. But the other foot is made differently. They could have put a peg there, but they didn't. And that is Starscream. All right. Now let's put this guy back the way he was. And last, we're going to bring in Trypticon. Now, I've got two ways of connecting him as a tank. And I apologize. I had mistransformed this before. This gun gets broken up, and the little side gets put there. And the orange barrel gets put there. Now, what I've noticed is this is the first one. There is a five millimeter peg here. And what you want to do is you have a five millimeter peg there on full tilt. So what you got to do is just slide this in if he cooperates. There you go. And now. Trypticon has a belly gun right there, which could rotate, and he could shoot uh, Autobots like that, and that is pretty cool. And I also noticed if you come back up here, well, let's get him back in, in shape. There. We're just going to have to take this up a notch. Now, when you look at this right here, you've got these two things here, which I like to slide this two in. There. And I slid those right back there. There we go. We'll move these back here. And now, Trypticon has another weapon on top of his head. And that are the two places where you could put him fully as a tank. Now, there are 5mm slots here and um, here where you could put him as a weaponizer also. But that is how I figured I can combine him in tank mode with Trypticon. And actually, one last thing, really this time, we're going to bring in the big guy Trypticon. What we're going to do is give Trypticon some extra claws. We'll just do that there. We'll give him an extra claw here. As you can see that, this little piece we're going to put here for two extra guns. And then what we're going to do is come underneath the belly of Trypticon, where you got 5mm slots there. So we're going to put a gun there, 
we're going to put this big gun here. That's working before. Or you can always put them here on the side on the leg. There. We'll put the gun on the leg. Actually, we'll put this gun over here on the other leg. So now he's got a gun here, a gun here, the little shield you can put wherever you want. There. And that is Trypticon. He's got a claw here. He's got the extra guns here. He's got the claw here. And he's got the claw here. And let's see, what else? You got a 5mm peg back there. Like I said, you got these two 5mm pegs. All in all, pretty good. Okay, now let's get this guy back in robot mode real quick. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review. <clears throat> Please check out my channel. We have Transformers, we do DC, we do Marvel. Please click on that uh, subscribe, click on the like, turn on notifications, and if there is a link below for Amazon or another retailer, please buy it from there. It helps me keep up to date and buy all these new figures because it does get expensive. Okay, and as Rodimus Bill always says, till all are one, till all are one, the siege has begun.